Sports with so much going on, it can be hard to keep track of it all. As we watch the results come in tonight, we're hearing about a lot of the voting habits of Republicans, Democrats, and even independents. Democrats voting absentee and early, and Republicans seem to turn out more at the polls today. And that's a storyline as we've been seeing President Trump making a surge into the later evening tonight. We're checking in right now with Dr. Sam Nelson, University of Toledo. I just talked with you. You are expecting a long night. What do you think about what you've been seeing in this last couple of hours or so? Well, it certainly looks like we're lining up to the exact scenario we expected, which is that Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin would be the key states. And those are states where we're going to be waiting for maybe several days uh, to get a, a final count. Yeah, we have seen a shift toward President Trump's favor here in the evening, but it's still very early, as you pointed out. It could be days for some states or still a couple hours yet to come. I want to talk about the polling. A lot of these state polls show double digits in favor of Joe Biden. National polls had a Biden up 9 or 10 percent. Does polling even count as a legitimate business anymore after tonight if this goes in President Trump's favor? Well, each of those southeastern states was really close within the margin of error in the polls. I would say Florida looks like a polling miss of maybe four points, uh, and so that's pretty substantial. But, uh, you know, Ohio, North Carolina, Georgia, you know, they were really kind of toss-up states, and maybe the polling is off by a couple of points, but uh, I don't think it's a, a big miss like maybe what we're missing in Miami-Dade, uh, Florida or maybe even a, a Pennsylvania or a Michigan. Let's talk about the difference in rules for each state because uh, we are a union, but each state has its own election rules, counting of absentee ballots. How long do you think it could realistically take to get a winner for president? Well, about three quarters of the ballots, the mail-in ballots in Philadelphia, for instance, aren't they're not going to even count them until tomorrow. So Pennsylvania, we could be looking at Wednesday night, Thursday or Friday before we have, you know, 98% of the vote or something like that in, um, could take a long time. Uh, Wisconsin and Michigan could take another day or two uh, at least. So there are a lot of ballots to count. There are still ballots in North Carolina. North Carolina is not called yet. It's very, very close. Uh, there are more ballots coming in, um, you know, being reported. So there's a lot of counting left to do, and it may come down to, you know, provisional ballots, it may come down to absentee ballots that just arrived today. Uh, it's, a, it's a close election. Yeah, that is one thing you can agree on no matter which side you're on. Thank you so much, Dr. Nelson, for your perspective as always.